This seems to happen every year. There is a plant that gets neglected. Uh, this particular plant is a patio F1 tomato. It is a uh, very short tomato that gets about uh, 24 to 36 inches in height and produces anywhere from about a dozen to uh, up to 50 tomatoes on it. I picked it up earlier uh, from area nursery and you could tell that it's up against the side of the house beside the garden hose where it gets occasionally watered that uh, it is not in the best uh, place whatsoever and you could tell that as this plant has grown it has uh, gotten a little bit of leaf disease and you could see that um, there are very healthy portions of the plant as well as very unhealthy portions of the plant so uh, I've continued to water it because it's a very rugged little plant and it seems to keep putting on tomatoes and so as long as it's doing that I will continue to take care of it in order to uh, perpetuate the plant and to continue to get tomatoes later in the season what I did was actually cut off a couple of the suckers on the plant and those are the ones that often come up from the main trunk and a branch that comes off and this would be considered a sucker so I trim that off and I put it into a net pot into a bucket that has a uh, net pot set into the top of it and I let it uh, just root naturally down into the water occasionally given a little bit more uh, water within that container now uh, in a matter of time the uh, roots sprung out from the bottom like most any tomato cutting and the plant continued to grow so patiently uh, you can see that the plant actually does much better in this hydroponic setup than what it does over in the uh, original container that I had now this was only one of two plants that I developed from the cutting. This is the second one. And both of these rooted in and were about equivalent in growth. However, uh, one evening on my uh, security camera, I noticed that a deer was going through the backyard. And sure enough, it decided to eat the top off this tomato. Now, what that has done is completely shortened the plant. Now I expect it to grow a little bit higher than what it is right now, but you could tell that uh, the plant is putting on smaller tomatoes than the one that the uh, deer did not top, but it's continuing to flower and to look healthy. And it's in the same setup. It has a uh, bucket full of nutrient water and the uh, method is called uh, passive or non-circulating hydroponics sometimes referred to as Kratky hydroponics so hopefully what's going to happen is the uh, mother plant will continue to produce tomatoes then the larger cutting that i showed you will kick in and finally the uh, smaller or uh, pruned version of that uh, tomato will kick in and that will continue to give me uh, tomatoes off of this determinate uh, tomato plant for the rest of the summer.